Now, CBS 6 News at 11. Now at 11, for the first time in public, the parents of a missing UVA student make a touching plea to find out what happened to their daughter. And police say the person of interest in this case is wanted tonight on unrelated charges. Plus, a witness says a man killed at a Chesterfield party lost his life trying to break up a fight. I believe Jesse Matthew was the last person she was seen with before she vanished off the face of the earth. Because it's been a week and we can't find her. But somebody knows where she is. Powerful words today at a press conference from Charlottesville Police Chief Timothy Longo. Longo says investigators have received more than 900 tips over the past four days alone and are thankful more than 1,000 people have come out to help search efforts for missing UVA student Hannah Graham. They covered about 85% of the Charlottesville area today. Tonight, Graham's parents are also making an emotional plea for more help. Chelsea Rarick reports. This is every parent's worst nightmare. A family's world turned upside down. A mother and father who just want their only daughter back. And she's enormously precious to us all. And while you think of what we're going through, think of our parents as well. On Sunday, John and Sue Graham, the parents of missing UVA student Hannah Graham, spoke publicly for the first time about their daughter's disappearance. Somebody knows what happened to Hannah. Her father also shared more about who his daughter is. He brought along Hannah's favorite stuffed white rabbit, BB. It was given to Hannah when she was just less than a week old. And he was Hannah's constant guardian, uh, companion, friend, and guardian angel until last month when she chose to return to Charlottesville without him. Hannah had once lost BB as a child, but it was safely returned to her. All we want to do now is to bring Hannah home safely. Graham has been missing since September 13th. Charlottesville Police Chief Tim Longo says he believes Jesse Matthew, a person of interest in the case, was at Tempo Bar and Restaurant with Graham before she went missing. I believe Jesse Matthew was the last person she was seen with before she vanished off the face of the earth. The chief says that Jesse Matthew came here to the police station Saturday afternoon with family members asking to speak with an attorney. They said that after he left here, he was driving at a speed so fast that Virginia State Police have now obtained arrest warrants for Matthew for reckless driving, which is a class one misdemeanor. Meanwhile, as Hannah's parents share their favorite memories of her, describing her as someone who loved helping people. Last spring break, instead of hanging around on the beach like other students may have done, she spent a week in Tuscaloosa rebuilding houses. And they continue to plead with the public that anyone with information comes forward. Please, 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 if you have anything, however insignificant you think it may be, call the police tip line with anything that just might help us to bring Hannah home. In Charlottesville, Chelsea Rarick, CBS 6 News. And while police are trying to locate 32-year-old Jesse Matthew on those reckless driving charges, they're releasing new photos of the car officers believe Matthew was driving on the night he was seen with Graham. Officers are waiting on forensic evidence recovered from Matthew's car, which was seized on Friday. You saw that car, and particularly if you saw people get inside that car between 1.20, 1.40 in the morning, we really need to hear from you. If you have a child, especially a daughter, Hannah's disappearance should, disappearance should strike at your core. Police want any detail on where this car was seen on either September 12th or 13th. A $50,000 reward is being offered for tips that lead to Graham. You can call 434-295-3851 with any information in this case.